fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the oat cereal that's ready to eat, Betty Crocker mixes, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions. Present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. Say, kids, I bet your mothers remember when baking an angel food cake was a dreaded task. Well, it's a joy with Betty Crocker Angel Food Cake Mix. All the fine ingredients are right in the package, including the whites of 13 eggs and a special General Mills Angel Food Flour. You just add water, beat, and bake. That's all for the highest, lightest angel food you've ever seen. In fact, it bakes up higher than any cake you can bake with the whites of 13 eggs. Mmm, and so delicious. And there's no guesswork. To turn out a perfect angel food every time. In fact, Betty Crocker guarantees a perfect cake. Angel perfect every time you bake. Cake after cake after cake. Absolutely perfect. Or write General Mills, Minneapolis, Minnesota for your money back. And Betty Crocker angel food goes so perfectly with any one of your favorite summer ice creams. You'll want to have it often. Someday soon, ask Mom to bake up a perfect Betty Crocker angel food cake. A light summer dessert for the whole family. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fella. Are you Silver? Away! The Lone Ranger and Toto rode the trail that led to the town of Retton. As they rode, they discussed the reason for their trip southward from Eagle Pass. The masked man was saying, How do we know for certain that One-Eye Keller and his outlaw gang came down this way? Ah. Them say him have plenty mean temper. Even kill own men sometimes. The report is that once a man joins One-Eye's gang, he's not allowed to leave it. Isn't that right? We'll reach Eagle Pass by sunset. After we pitch camp, we may be able to get some news of the outlaw gang in town. All right, let's hurry, Tonto. Come on, Silver. Come up, come. That afternoon, One-Eye Keller was talking to two of his men in a hideout shack near Eagle Pass. I got tipped off by a spy I have planted in Eagle Pass that the only hombre who ever quit my gang and got away with it, a fellow by the name of Jim Holly, is settled in town. You mean you brought us here all the way from Stockton just to get back at some hombre who quit your gang? Nope, there's more to it than that, Lou. Jim Holly is married now, living in Eagle Pass and working as clerk at the express office. He must have lied about his past to get that job. I figure on forcing him to help us with a holdup at the express office. You think he will? Yeah. I want you to take a printed note to his house in town tonight. <laughs> That evening, Jim Holly and his wife Mary were at supper. Jim, about 25 years of age, smiled happily as he said, Well, honey, by this time next year, I hope we manage to save enough to get a small ranch outside of town someplace. Yes, but it's going to take a lot of money to start a ranch, even a small one, and to stock it with cattle, Jim. Huh. Wonder who that is coming here right at supper time. You, Jim Holly? Yeah. Got a message for you. Here. Yeah. Well, who sent the note? You'll find out when you read it. Go on. Oh, hey, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> Just turned and walked away. Yeah. yeah. Who was it, Jim? I don't know, honey. He brought this note, but I don't know who'd be sending a note to me. Well, why don't you read it and find out? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, uh, read it out loud. Uh, no, no, it isn't anything important, Mary. Oh. I, 
I, uh, I have to go out after supper to see a certain fellow, that's all. The moon was bright when Jim Holly reached the fork in the trail and pulled to a halt. Ho, ho, go down. Easy, easy. For a moment, he sat still, looking around. Then he saw three horsemen ride from behind some big boulders a short distance back from the trail. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, I knew that note would bring you out here, Holly. I didn't have much choice. What'd you say in that note, one eye? I didn't get to see it. Here, you can read it if you're that curious. Oh, yeah, thanks. It's been three years since you lit out on me in the game. I found out you were settled here with a wife and a job. Meet me at nine tonight at the fork in the South Trail. I have something to talk over. Don't try any tricks. You're being watched every minute. I'm not gunning for you yet, so don't worry about coming out. But be there. <laughs> well, you sure knew what to write to bring him here, one eye. Uh, here's your note, Holly. I don't want to throw it away if you want to. Uh, sure. Now, Keller, why did you have me come here? I just need a little help from you, that's all, Holly. Of course, if you don't agree to give it, anything might happen. What do you mean, help? Just leave the express office safe unlocked tomorrow but, night. That's all. Listen, you can't force me to do that. You I'm wouldn't gonna... like it much if we kept you with us and your wife was found in the morning with a bullet in her, would you? Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Leave her out of this. Well, that's up to you. And I'm not waiting long for an answer. You won't get away with this sort of thing. Well, you won't play along, eh? No. All right, we take him back with us, Lou. You head for town, go to his place, make sure... No, no, he... no, no. Wait a minute. Well, he's coming to his senses, one I? I'm waiting, Holly. If... If I help you, what then? I let you alone, of course. You got my word. Well, look, do it this way, then. I... I'll arrange to work overtime tomorrow night. You tie me up and rob the safe. I can say you got there while the safe was unlocked and took me by surprise. All right, that's the way we'll do it. But remember, you pull anything tricky, neither your wife nor you will live to tell it. Now get on back to town. All right. Let's get back to the hideout. Sure. Get up. Get up. A short time later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto went to the outskirts of town, where the masked man waited while Tonto went to the cafe for news. Then they started back to their camp. As they rode along the trail that led into the hills, they heard fast hoofbeats approaching around a bend ahead. Someone's coming down the trail. We turn off into that arroyo until he goes by. All right, hurry. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Come on, Moon, plenty bright. Kima Sabi. That look like fella me see leaving town when me go to cafe a while ago. Him ride black horse with white forelegs. He seems to be in a hurry to get back to town. All right, let's go, Tonto. Monsieur, come up, count. As the Lone Ranger and Tonto approached the place where the trail divided, a sudden gust of wind blew a small piece of paper into the air, and it flattened against the masked man's chest. Well, this piece of paper that blew against me... Needs to be a note, Tonto. Oh, Silver, who? Oh, Scott, oh, fella. I'll strike a match and look at it. Oh. Read this, Tonto. Oh. Well, this is bad. Maybe, fella, we see you riding to town, get note. I thought of that. And he came out here to meet the one who wrote it. Notes say fella once belonged to gang. I'd say he's an outlaw who has gone straight, Tonto. The gang is after him again. We'll turn around and follow the trail of the rider who passed us. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. The light from the moon was bright enough so that the Lone Ranger and Tonto were able to follow Jim Holly's trail. When they finally reached the Holly place near the edge of town, the two men pulled to a halt in the shadows behind the house. Oh, Silver. Oh, 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 Wait here with the horses, Tonto. I'm going around to the front door. I want to talk to the man who received that note. Ah, uh, me wait. Meantime, inside the house, Jim paced the floor nervously as he spoke to his wife, Mary. Mary, I want you to go stay with your friend, Mrs. Harris, tonight. Why should I do that, Jim? I don't understand. I'll explain everything later, honey. I'll pick you up there at dorm with a buckboard and our luggage. We're, we're going to drive over to Austin. All right, Jim, but I'm worried. 
After Mary went into the back room, Jim went from window to window, peering out cautiously. As he looked from the front window, he saw a figure come up the porch steps. Come in. Reach, you and quick. Reach. Just a minute, I came here. I don't know uh... why you came to the house, but I know one I had your planet outside watching. Keep your hands up and go outside. I'll be right behind you. And if you make one false move, mister, I'll shoot you in the back. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Boxer Ben fights hard and fair. So in the ring, you kids beware. He's dynamite because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. <laughs> he's feeling his Cheerios. 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 Cheerios, the cereal everybody loves. No other cereal looks like Cheerios. It's shaped like little letter O's. No other cereal tastes like Cheerios. It's the only ready-to-eat cereal with this fresh toasted oat flavor. No other cereal is like Cheerios. You see, Cheerios is made from oats. And every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, the good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones, and muscles. Have Cheerios every morning. Then you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. Now, to continue... When the Lone Ranger answered Jim Holly's invitation to enter his house, the masked man found himself facing Jim's gun. Jim ordered the visitor to go outside with his hands raised. Toto, waiting in back of the house, caught a glimpse of them in the moonlight. The Indian quickly and silently circled around toward the grove. Meantime, Jim and the masked man reached the trees and stopped. All right, this will do. You're making a mistake. The reason no I No need get... for talk. One eye is the hombre who made the mistake by letting me know I was being watched. Well, what now? First, you'll drop your guns. Then we'll see. No, shoot you it. drop hey, them. Hey, what drop gun? Uh, I should have known there'd be two of you. There. Uh, me got gun now. Good enough. Well, now that you turn the tables on me, I suppose. I you'll told get... you that you were making a mistake. We're not outlaws. That mask says you are. And one eye told Let's me. Let's get he... to the point and forget the mask. You went to meet one eye after you received a note from him, didn't you? Sure. And the fact that you know about it means it that It means you... that we found the note and trailed you here to get information. But... Well, what are you going to do now? Now, listen. We've been hunting for one eye and his gang. I know now that you're in trouble. If you're willing to trust us, perhaps we can help you. How? First, tell me what hold one eye has over you and why he wanted to talk to you. Well, I reckon telling you won't matter one way or the other. My name is Jim Holly. Two years ago... Briefly, Jim told the Lone Ranger and Tonto about himself and about his meeting with One Eye that night. Finally, he reached the end of his story. Jim, you'll still be able to live here and keep your job. If you'll go along with a plan I've thought out to trap One Eye and his gang. All right. I'll do it. Good. Let's go inside, Jim. And we'll discuss the plan I have in mind. After the Lone Ranger and Tonto went into the house with Jim Holly... The figure of a man eased out of the shadows across the street and hurriedly made his way to the hitch rack in front of the cafe. There, he mounted a horse and rode quickly out of town. Later in his hideout shack, One-Eye Keller listened to the same man who told the outlaw chief what he had seen outside of Holly's home. Wait a minute. You say there was a white horse and a paint? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And a masked hombre with an Indian, huh? There's a masked man and an Indian who work on the side of the law. The masked man is called the Lone Ranger. Say... Hey. I've heard of him. Maybe he's planning with Holly to trap the gang somehow. Now you're talking sense. That's exactly what I think he's planning. But we're going to change our plans and put one over on that snooping lone ranger. Well, how are you going to do it? Get the gang together and I'll tell them all what we're going to do. <laughs> Both Holly and that masked man will be in for a big surprise. <laughs> Later that night, after the Lone Ranger and Tonto had left, Jim Holly sat talking to his wife, Mary. Mary, now you know the whole story. You won't have to leave here as long as we have that masked man and Indian helping me. 
Maybe one of them came back to tell me something more. Hi there, Holly. Come on in, Sandy. Oh, wait a minute. Shoo, you Shut can't... Up. We're in. Close the door, Sandy. Sure. Well, what do you want? Why did you come here like this? One I said the plan was for tomorrow night. And Stop it... trying to bluff your way out of this, Holly. Let's say one I changed his mind. Him and the others are waiting in the grove behind the express office. You're coming there with us. And so is your wife, Savvy. But why? Then we Shut can... up and get moving, you double-crosser. Bring the woman, Sandy. We'll walk him along behind the building so he won't be seen. Let's go. When the Lone Ranger and Tonto had left Holly's house, they had looked around for anyone who might be spying on Jim. Not finding anyone, the masked man had instructed Tonto to wait in the shadows behind the house while he watched the front from a grove across the street. A few minutes after Lou and Sandy, the two outlaws, had entered Jim's place, Tonto heard a night bird. Uh -huh. That's a signal from Lone Ranger, and it means something wrong. Me circle around to grove. Come, Scott, come, fella. Come. In a short time, the Indian reached the grove where the Lone Ranger was waiting. Oh, come on, fella. Why you give signal, Gamer Sabi? Two men went into Holly's house. They walked from between the building just down the street. Jim, what are we going to do? All right, come on, hurry up. Let's back into the shadow behind the buildings. Them take Jim and wife, Gamer Sabi. I know. We're waiting, follow. They'll lead us to one-eyed killer. All right, Tonto. We'll lead the horses and go on foot after them. Come on. Uh -huh. Meantime, One Eye grinned maliciously as Jim and Mary were brought before him. Yeah, they are, One Eye. Good work, Lou. Listen, Harley, you're going inside right now and unlock the safe. Then open the back door for us. No, by thunder. Shut up. We'll keep your wife here with us to make sure you go through with it. Now get going, Holly. Lou will go along with you just to make sure. The Lone Ranger and Tonto had managed to approach close enough without their presence being known. Realizing the gang's intention, the masked man spoke hurriedly. I'll write a note and wrap it around a silver bullet. You take it to the sheriff right away. Let uh, me do it. When the gang left the grove and went into the express office, Sandy was left to watch Mary Holly. As they stood there talking, a shadowy figure moved toward them. One eye always figures that dead men tell no tales. And dead women, too, for that matter. Oh, no. No, he wouldn't dare kill He us. would. And to my way of thinking, he will. One eye won't kill anybody. Hey, what? Quiet, take it. You. Oh, thank heaven. There's no time to lose, Mary. Help untie the outlaw's horses quickly. Oh, the lone ranger and Mary quickly untied the horses, then scattered oh, them. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Good. Now, Mary, get away from here. There's bound to be shooting. But, Jim... He'll be all right. I'll be at the Harris's house. Tell Jim, please. All right, leave now and hurry. I'll get to the back door and make sure no one gets out until help arrives. Inside the office, One Eye and the others cleaned out the safe. Then One Eye spoke. All right, fellas, looks like we got everything worth taking. Bring that double cross in. Let's get out of here. Yeah. All right, get Holly out of here first, Lou. Right. Go on, Holly. As Jim, with Lou holding a gun at his back, left the doorway and went down the few back steps, a shot rang out. Oh, my wrist! A bullet grazed Lou's wrist, causing him to drop his gun. At the same time, a voice called out. Jim, drop down alongside the porch, quick. Right. Hey, it must be the masked man. Throw that at him. You're finished, killer. Slam the door, shoot out the windows. As the outlaws withdrew inside, Jim crawled along the building and reached a place of safety. Then he circled around to the tree behind which the Lone Ranger was covering the back door. Good work, mister. But they'll get out the front way. Here comes the sheriff and some of his men. Watch out. They're shooting from the back windows. You're the masked man who sent that note. Some of the men are around front. One eye can't get away now. Keep the bullets flying, man. Realizing that without One Eye's leadership, the outlaws would soon give up. The Lone Ranger crouched low, then crept up unnoticed to the back of the building. He moved along until he was under the back window. Then rising suddenly, he fired through the window at One Eye Keller, wounding him in the leg. A few minutes later, the back door opened cautiously, and a white handkerchief was waved as a token of surrender. Hey, one of them was waving a white cloth. Come out, all of you, with your hands up. Oh, three of them coming out. 
We'll keep the wounded ones covered from the windows while a couple of men go in and get all the guns. I'll keep them covered, Sheriff. A few minutes later, the guns had been gathered, and the sheriff and his men went inside to get the rest of the outlaws. They have them all, Sheriff. Yeah. One eye and his gang will hang. That's killer lying there, Sheriff. He forced me to open the safe and was going to kill Mary and me. Don't let him play innocent, Sheriff. He used to be one of my gang before he came here. Sheriff, when you get the whole story, you'll know I'm not a crook. The masked man understands. Don't get excited, Jim. I've explained the whole situation. The sheriff knows the truth. That's right. You will not have to worry. We'll get Keller and the others to jail and get their wounds attended to. Good thing for Jim and Mary you were around, mister. We're glad we could be of help, Sheriff. One eye and his kind won't be tolerated here in the West. Well, we'll be on our way now. Adios, Sheriff. Goodbye, Goodbye mister. Thanks. Oh, gosh, he sure is a mighty fine hombre, Sheriff. You know, even though he did so much for Mary and me, we we still don't know who he is. <laughs> well, I know, and I'll bet Keller knows, too. Now, most outlaws here in the West, sooner or later, get to hear about that masked hombre and to find out that he's the Lone Ranger. copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. Listen to the Lone Ranger brought to you by special recording 